Welcome back to another Elite Ace Aviation video. Today, we talk about the F-15 Eagle on steroids, the F-15 EX Advanced Eagle. We explore the latest advanced technology, expanded weapon capabilities, and new powerful twin engines that provide the aircraft unrivaled speed and acceleration capabilities. Now, before we get into the content, if you like these types of videos and you want to join a growing community of people that love aviation, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel and encourages us to continue to make content like this. Now, let's get into the video. Okay, here's a little history on the F-15. McDonnell Aircraft formalized the concept for the F-15 in 1967 when the company was selected to enter the second phase of the U.S. Air Force FX competition. The F-15 is a twin-engine, high-performance, all-weather air superiority fighter known for its incredible acceleration and maneuverability with a top speed in excess of Mach 2.5. It was the first U.S. fighter with enough thrust to accelerate vertically. The F-15 carries a large complement of missiles, including AIM-9 Sidewinders, AIM-7 Sparrows, JDAM and Laser JDAM weapons, and an internal 20mm Gatling gun, all vital for modern engagements. On June 26, 1972, James S. McDonnell, founder of McDonnell Aircraft, christened the first F-15 Eagle. Test pilot Irv Burroughs flew the first F-15 on July 27, 1972 at Edwards Air Force Base in California. Six months later, the Air Force approved the Eagle for full rate production. In early 1975, flying out of the Grand Forks Air Force Base in North Dakota, an F-15A set many time to climb world records. Between January 16th and February 1st, 1975, the Strike Eagle broke eight time to climb world records. It reached an altitude of 98,425 feet, just three minutes, 27.8 seconds from brake release at takeoff and coasted it to nearly 103,000 feet before descending. F-15s flown by the Israeli Air Force were the first to face a true adversary in the air. They downed more than 50 Syrian fighters with no losses of their own. In service with the U.S. Air Force, the F-15 Eagle downed MiG fighters during the Balkan conflict and the majority of the Iraq's fixed-wing aircrafts during Operation Desert Storm. To meet the U.S. Air Force requirements from air-to-ground missions, the F-15E Strike Eagle was developed. It made its first flight from St. Louis in December 1986. The F-15 has been produced in a single-seat A model and two-seat B versions. The two-seat F-15E Strike Eagle version is a dual-role fighter that can engage both ground and air targets. F-15C, D, and E models participated in Operation Desert Storm in 1991. The F-15s downed 32 of 36 U.S. Air Force air-to-air -air victories and struck Iraqi ground targets. The F-15 also served in Bosnia in 1994 and downed three Serbian MiG-29 fighters in Operation Allied Force in 1999. They enforced no-fly zones over Iraq in the 1990s. Eagles also hit Afghan targets in Operation Enduring Freedom, and the F-15E version performed air-to-ground missions in Operation Iraqi Freedom. Now to the monster of all F-15s, the F-15EX Advanced Eagle. Boeing has continued to evolve the F-15 with advanced technology and its undefeated in air-to-air -air combat, 101 aerial victories and zero defeats. Complementing other aircraft, the F-15EX enhances the air combat capabilities of the fleet to ensure the U.S. remains ahead of current and emerging threats. With next-generation technologies to provide unrivaled capabilities in a broad spectrum of environments, Boeing's F-15EX delivers more payload, capacity, and range than any fighter in its class. The F-15EX Advanced Eagle Fighter Aircrafts, commonly known as the Strike Eagle on steroids, will carry the full array of air-to-air, air-to-ground, and maritime strike weapons. The aircraft can engage a multitude of targets on any given mission. 
The Advanced Eagle will have unmatched weapon station capacity up to 29,500 pounds of payload supported by 12 certified air-to-air hardpoints and 15 certified air-to-ground hardpoints. The Advanced Mission Computer provides multi-core processing capabilities, propelling the F-15 to the forefront of fighter-embedded computing systems. The ADCP2 high-speed processing and interface designs enable advanced system integration, increased mission effectiveness, augmented fault tolerance, enhanced system stability, and air crew survivability. This system processes 87 billion instructions per second while managing different systems and capabilities for the platform. Another new addition is the more powerful twin engines that provide the F-15EX with unrivaled speed and acceleration capabilities, allowing the pilot to get to the target faster at a speed of Mach 2.5. The 21st Century Cockpit provides real-time access to battlefield information and enhances the pilot's understanding of the environment to reduce workload, speed decision-making, and enhanced mission management. By modifying an existing proven airframe with an undefeated air-to-air -air combat record, the Air Force can take advantage of an existing manufacturing process and the ground support system without the need for extensive pilot retraining. This will allow the military to deploy the F-15EX quickly with little added cost to the American taxpayer, saving valuable funds for the F-35 production. In addition, it's a perfect complement to pair with the F-35 and guarantee air-to-ground and air-to-air -air superiority for the Air Force. The F-15EX, carrying 22 missiles, is the tactical fighter that provides the payload, range, and speed the F-35 cannot. It's also the perfect fighter to carry and deploy the future hypersonic weapon systems that cannot fit inside the internal bays of fighters like the F-35s. The F-15 will be a major player in the U.S. Air Force air superiority and dominance arsenal from now until possibly 2040. This will be accomplished by cutting-edge technology and capabilities that will keep the advanced F-15 and its mission system current. But that will do it for this Elite Ace Aviation video. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Until next time, happy flying!